I want to show you an experiment that I did using some red smoke and through ventilation. But before I do, let me just explain. We're on a test rig here. This is a, a typical cold roof uh, build up here. A, a, a vapor control layer which will be continuous, completely airtight. Insulation in between that will be on this is a test one, so I haven't done it just yet, but this will all be sealed. There's normally some insulation like this right the way across the bottom, which will uh, stop thermal bridging through this. So it's airtight and it's insulated everywhere. You cannot cut light fittings through and break the vapor barrier like that. That's something that I did for a, another video, which is how to install spotlights into a cold flat roof, which there'll be links down below. Right, you have got a 50 mil gap at the top here. This re represents movement of air backward and forward. Let's show you inside there with this video, what that looks like. So when we look inside there, look, there's your movement, backward and forward, backward and forward, backward and forward. There's your 50 mil gap in there. That has all got to be continuous. Let's go and have a look outside. So this is a cutaway of what's going on with the ventilation underneath here, movement of air running inside and outside. I'll show you the vent on the other side in a second. Inside here we've got insulation. It's cut away better here. I'll show you. The insulation must come over to continue the thermal element of the wall to the wall to the roof. There's your 50 mil gap. There's your 50 mil gap. The air can flow over through this vent, which will be continuous. Air movement, air movement, air movement. It must run from this vent all the way through to the other side and the vent on the other side. Let me show you that one. So this is your vent on the other side. Movement of air, which is going to go right underneath there and come in, into the room on the other side. Here's this movement, backward and forward. This will be a vented dry fix ridge system that will go on here with this kind of thing over the top. But this setup I've got at the moment is incorrect by a few different scenarios. So I'll be explaining that in a different video because although this was sold to me as a dry, a vented dry ridge system, I've since found out that they're all being missold. So ventilation through here, ventilation out through the other side is your through ventilation. And you must make sure that this ventilation is continuous backward and forward, backward and forward. Now let me show you the smoke test. This represents a piece of insulation which has got joists, just because it's one slab, ignore. Um, if you had a joist there or you had a joist there, you've got a 50 mil gap coming up here. This is 50 mil high. And here we should have flow of air. A vent here, a vent here. It could be this kind of vent. It could be that kind of vent. There could be a vent. But what I've done is that I've blocked this end off. So there's no through vent, no through um, movement of air and I wanted to show you that when I turn this fan on that the air doesn't get to the this is trapped and and this is only 760 millimeters long and even at 760 millimeters long that air is not being moved down there so venting one end does not work through ventilation backward and forward is what we need to achieve let me show you that by, I'm going to fill this up with smoke Now, let's turn the fan on. So my point here is that this smoke is not getting down to this end. Look how far down that fan is getting that, and that's forcing quite a lot in. But if we put a vent this end, watch what happens. So, that's what I'm trying to say to you. You've got to have through ventilation. We've got through ventilation, but what about cross ventilation when we've got a, a skylight? So if you think about this, what I've got here is a typical cold roof, vapour barrier, which should be continuous, plasterboard on the other side, uh, insulation on the other side of the joists here, insulation in between. 
that is a true makeup of a cold roof. We should have ventilation backward and forward. We would have this on top. We would have vents either side. Air movement, backward and forward, backward and forward, backward and forward. Okay, absolutely great. Along comes somebody and puts a skylight in the middle. When you stick a skylight in the middle and you've got these verticals going right the way down, this side and this side are now not vented. They might have a vent one end here, but this side might up, up against a building or something like that. Okay, you've got a dead space. And here you've got a vent with a dead space. We know that the air won't travel in too far. Remember that air was being forced in with a fan. Okay, so how do you get around that? So the, way, the best way of doing that is add cross battening across the top of the roof like so. Because now the air can get in through there, backward and forward, and get over all these sides. So you've only lost 25 mil, which is the thickness of these, on top of your, your roof, but now you've got cross ventilation. You've got ventilation going this way. You've got ventilation that can get out through this side over here as well, okay? It's moving all the way around, backward and forward. Your skylight can be in the middle, but your air can move this way, this way, this way, backward and forward. And your ventilation around the outside is just superb access everywhere. So hopefully that's helpful to everybody. If you need any more information, please get back to me.